All right, we are here with JP. Thank you for joining me. Um, first off, let's let's jump on in. Uh, tell me tell me a little bit about uh, yourself before starting working with FR. Um, before starting to work with FR, I was a personal trainer that owned a business. Um, I never really worked on my business. I just came in, I trained clients. Um, I thought I was doing a good job. I didn't really have a lot of plans for the future other than, you know, I, I hope I get a few clients, uh, new clients this month, you know, and then really try to maintain not losing any clients. Yeah, absolutely. I, I get that. Um, so when you found FR, what were, what were you looking to achieve? And tell, tell me about your frustrations. Um, first of all, I, I think I followed FR for a solid year, two years prior, you know, like I was getting information from them. And I, I was at a point in my career in life where I kind of started to understand that I needed some help in coaching in order to take a next step and, and, and grow. So, but, it, but I was procrastinating. Like I knew I needed this. I started following a few people and then, um, ultimately something clicked. I think a, a competitor opened up right, you know, a uh, one block away from us. And I was like, well, I have to take some action now. I got to really take some steps to, to make my business better and to help it grow. And then, and I chose FR. I was like, I felt good about what I was seeing, all the information that I received from them over the year and a half, two years I was following. And, um, and then I just made my decision to, to go with them. Yeah. And what the PRs were hitting now, imagine if you'd have started a couple of years earlier, JP. I, I think about that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we could be having this talk from from the beach, you know, like palm exactly. tree behind me. Exactly. <laughs> so, what were your big frustrations? Like, what what were you, what did you want to accomplish? What was holding you back? Um, I just put myself in a box. I thought I was doing everything well, right? Because because we had a good reputation, clients were happy, but we weren't really growing. I wasn't picking up enough new clients. Um, I wasn't losing any clients, but there was. It was like this very slow trickle uh, of like, hey, just being okay with being status quo and not growing. Um, and I think I, I I got to a point where that became frustrating because, you know, I, I got married, I, I had kids, expenses went up, but like, you know, the the making money didn't go up. It didn't track with, with, uh, you know, my growth as a person, I guess. Um, and so that became frustrating, and and I just I knew that I needed to get a more clear direction of, of how to go from this point to where I want it to be. Right. Which is a successful business owner. Not, you know, I felt very strongly that I owned a job. I didn't own a business. Yeah. Right. I, I had to be at work. If I didn't go there, no one was opening up. Um, so there wasn't real structure of a business. It was really a very good job. Yep. I get it. I get it. So then you finally did make the move and sign up with that bar and how did our program help you? Um, first of all, it was one of the best decisions I ever made, right? So it was it was a great thing for our business. Um, it helped me. It took a while to help me. The first few months, I was still in my box where I know what I'm doing. You know, uh, um, I wasn't open to some of the suggestions, right? It's hard to change. Once I, I, I got comfortable with my coach, once I got comfortable with talking about things that I wasn't doing well, it was hard to like look in the mirror and say a lot of this is is done because of my decisions, right? Um, so that took a couple of months. Once I started to adopt a new process and be more open to, suge to the suggestions, you know, and realizing, hey, these are all my ideas. My coach was helping, you know, like clear the way. Like, okay, where do you want to be? How are you going to get there? What are the steps you could take? They were still decisions I was making, but instead of being all over the map, it was more clear direction of, of where to go. Um, I think that was the, the biggest uh, um, change in me and for our business. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to like look at our own uh, biases and be transparent with ourselves. Um, so uh, can you give me any specific examples of um, maybe situations that come to mind that uh, were kind of those aha moments or um, things specifically that changed for you in, over the course of uh, working with FR? I mean, I mean, it was everything for my business. Um, you know, I, we never made a plan, you know, past like this month. 
when I, you know, we didn't like, now we do our QBRs, we're planning out quarters, we're planning out at the beginning of the year, hey, where, where are we trying to get to at the end of the year? Okay, here's the steps that are, are going to happen over the next, you know, uh, th four quarters. Here's the things you need to do here. So it's not too much all at once. And it's like broken up. Um, I think that's that's been the most help for me. Yeah, so the fitness business alignment system essentially helped you uh, craft a longer term vision. And then you're now used to reverse engineering that. And for those that may be watching this, QBRs are quarterly business reviews. <laughs> we do love our acronyms sometimes. Yeah. Um, and so that you can start chipping away at those longer term visions, which I mean, over the course of working together, I know we have already tackled uh, quite a few of those goals. Um, Many. Yeah, you're you're making more money and working less. I mean, what what? Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> but it's it's I I um I can't stress how much less stress I have uh, in my business, right? So like, I'm in a much more comfortable position. I can see the growth happening. Uh, I don't have as much fear, um, you know, and I know I have a plan in place to to prepare me for anything that the any speed bumps that come along the way. Love it. Love it. So let's talk about next steps. Uh, what are, what are you working on next? What are the big projects? Um, at the moment, it's, it's just fully refining this business. There's a, you know, we're a hundred percent better than we were three years ago when we started with FR. I mean, it's amazing how much uh, we have grown. I think we've three times our, our yearly revenue. We're killing our, our auto pay. I mean, I think my auto pay when I started with with FR was like uh, you know four thousand or something like that, right? And 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 we've ten times that. I mean, we're we're in a much better place. Um, just cleaning up um, little areas of emphasis to where I'm going to have this um, good bl blueprint of how the business should run, so that I can instill that into my other location. So we have one other location that that needs some work that I need to put some work into, and and I have the building blocks to help me grow that business now. So just a little refinement and then just growth. Yeah, yeah. Who would you recommend FR to? I do and I would recommend FR to anyone that, that owns a business, anyone that owns a fitness business. Um, I speak to a lot of my friends who have coaches, who have mentors. And um, you know we talk a lot about what they're doing. I tell them things that I'm doing. And um, you know I, I do, give them my opinion that, Hey, I really like the things that I'm doing. I like the way my business is growing. Um, and I feel like you should instill this into your business. So I recommend afar all the time to my friends. Um, so I would recommend them to anyone thinking about being in the fitness business or is in the fitness business and is ready to take their business to the next step. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, JP. Um, and Again, if you're out there and you what JP said resonates with you and you would like to talk to FR, don't hesitate. Like JP said, you don't want to you don't want to wait two more years, right? No, best thing we ever did and I really do wish we did it at, when we started our business. Amen. All right, thanks JP. You're welcome.